Okay, now let's talk about owning tension. Now, a couple of things that I like to think about on a heavy press attempt. The kettlebell sometimes uncomfortably is sitting in the hand, but there's a lot of pressure on the forearm. And this can hurt a lot of people and they're gonna wanna wear wristbands. I don't recommend that. I really like the feel of the cast iron on the body. But what you should think about when you have the kettlebell in a rack position, the kettlebell is pressing against you, you need to also press your forearm against the kettlebell. Now with a 24 kilo clean and press, okay, I feel it on my wrist, but I'm also gonna push my wrist into the kettlebell. That gives me one more degree of tension. That will also allow you to find your groove much better because you're pushing out against the force of the kettlebell and it typically finds its sweet spot right in that scapular plane. When you make the forearm with the kettlebell one unit, one particularly helpful thing for beginners or even advanced athletes is you're not pushing from your hand. You wanna think about pushing through the elbow. What happens when you think about pushing vertically with the elbow is you recruit a lot more musculature in your upper arm, okay? And the upper arm is going to lend to a strong shoulder, strong pecs, and strong upper back muscles. So let me show you again, 24 kilo clean and press. Push from the elbow. Just feels like it flies up. In order to have a strong rack, it's all about having strong lats. As I rack, I want this muscle completely tight. The sensation is now my triceps are sitting on my lats. For a smaller frame person like myself, I've always thought it was easier to press if you're way bigger and barrel chested. I've seen people press and their body touches right here, they close this gap. So now look, they're pressing from three or four inches higher than someone like me. So what do you do? You are going to have to have a good rack during your competition presses when you're being tested. So it does need to be below chin level, but you're kind of out of luck because you don't have a big barrel chest and a giant abdomen to sit on. What I recommend is some hypertrophy and strength training to make your lats pop more. The more lat you have, the more advantage mechanically you're going to have in finding your press position. Later in the article, I go over some ways that you can train your lats with bent over rows, uh, wide grip pull-ups, anything you want that you find really trains the lats. The last technique of owning tension that I like to talk about is eye positioning. If I come from a clean, I'm generally looking straight ahead at the horizon. And if the kettlebell is light, I can just press it straight up while continuing to look forward. On heavier attempts, as soon as the kettlebell reaches the sticking point, what you want to do is shoot your eyes over. You're gonna find that this gives you much more drive from the triceps in order to finish the press. The trick simply works. The eye positioning makes a big difference because the body is gonna want to go where the eyes are going. Let me show you with a 32 kilo bell what that's gonna look like. It may not look fast, but as soon as I shot my eyes up on those two reps, it seemed like the kettlebell just flew up, okay? Lots of speed in the movement.